Hi, this is Nick. Welcome to the channel where we talk all things real estate in the Czech Republic. Today, we're going to look at properties outside of Prague. Um, I've got a lot of people recently with COVID. People have been asking me about properties outside of Prague because their work work life balance has kind of changed. Having to go to the office there, working from home, so they want to work in nicer surroundings. So they're looking for a place that's maybe outside of Prague, somewhere where they can you know commute in once a week, or somewhere where they can holiday more. So as you leave Prague, you'll see that prices start to change, start to go down quite a bit. Uh, the cheapest area outside of Prague is the northwest. Um, followed by the northeast, then the southwest, followed by the southeast, which is the most expensive. Basically, heading down towards Brno and Moravia, which is where the, the country kind of connects together. Lots of people want to live in that region because there's good access to the rest, rest of Moravia. You know, maybe they have family out there, so you can find it quite expensive. A lot of our clients are kind of looking for a better value, so they ask for other places. Um, the northwest has been quite interesting. Uh, however, it must be pointed out that public transport can be quite poor in this area. There's quite often not trains. So if you've got a car, this works out really well. But if you haven't and you need to rely on the trains, it's good to have a look around at which, which areas are connected by train. Just be careful because some of the train stations are actually quite far from the property. So although it seems like it will be an easy commute, it may be more difficult than it seems. You know, it's good to go and investigate these places and have a look around and get used to the markets. It's such a large kind of area that you'd be covering when you're looking at this. It's hard to give an exact what's best for everyone. I just wanted to point out some basics. I think when you talk about areas outside of Prague with locals, with Czechs, they quite often have views about these areas which are you know, maybe a little older. They haven't been to these areas for some time and they say, oh, this area is not very nice. I think it's it's worth checking out these areas and looking with your own eyes because everything's been changing so quickly, just as it has in Prague, that actually you get quite surprised that some areas are a lot better than you thought they would be and actually look quite nice to be, to be a place that you'd want to either visit regularly or, or work from. What you'll generally see is a lot of different kind of build qualities when you, when you leave Prague. So you'll start to see that the, the quality of building can, can be quite different and, uh, and quite in some areas quite bad. So I think it's just making sure you know what you're getting into. Uh, some of the prices can be quite cheap, but as always, you get what you pay for. Um, the prices, you know, for a good, good quality build, the prices don't actually vary too much because the cost of the build is actually far more than the price of land. So you probably don't see too much variance. So when you see these properties that are like two and three million crowns for a little house, you have to question exactly what the quality is. You know, you need to be looking at that and seeing, you know, how do you heat it? Is there is there gas, for example? Is there electricity? Would you be heating it that way? You know, is there is there um, is it connected to the sewer system or is this something else you have to worry about? Now, some of these things are fine if you're going to live there permanently, but if you're using it as a holiday home, it may be something else. That you need to consider you know do you want to be turning up in the winter and immediately having to and to, to put a fire on to get the place warm is that part of the charm or is that too much of a hassle so i think it's worth you know thinking about these things and really looking at the adverts in detail before you spend time going there because going to find a property in different areas is going to be very time consuming so i think it's worth trying to find out as much as possible beforehand that's all for today looking forward to seeing you next time take care